Thanks for hosting. Alright, here we go! I'm gonna start playing my game. I haven't played it since the beta happened, before it was released. difficulties. Then I gotta restart it. Dang it, hold on. Okay. go. No, I got it. <laughs> Alright, dedicated to my wife and daughter, that is Yaur. I call him Jor, but it's Yaur. That's his wife and daughter. You know, I've been working on this game for about two years now, and I think Yara's been working on it for a little bit over that, maybe two and a half to three years. I'd have to ask him. But it's been, it's been a real work in progress, and it's been awesome to see it grow.
Alright, so this is Aaron's... Maybe her apartment? It's funny, because as a voice actor, you don't know too much about the game as it's being prog uh, as it's making progress. And then, uh, you know, they just give you the lines. I kind of have to imagine what the world is. Yeah, uh, it actually won an award for best computer graphics, or uh, 3D graphics, for uh, Intel. Hold up, my cat's eating flowers. Get down. And um, just so you know, there's an option to make the walk speed normal or fast. So I chose fast. All right. So press E to open. Just like portal. I've already seen some of this before, but I know he's made some changes. Um, that used to high sensitivity. Okay, save. Cool. Aaron, you there? John, I'm here. What's on the agenda for today, my fair lady? Hey, look, hmm. it's me. I think that's Not John. sure. I was about to see what's available. All right, take your time. I haven't docked to the station yet. Copy that. I've sort of experienced it. Um, I played a little bit of... I think I played up to where you enter the star drop. But, like, he's changed it, too. Okay. Odyssey 101, maintenance android failure, failure status unavailable. So, this is inspect and salvage unknown ship. The operator is Phoenix. I think that's how you pronounce it. Phoenix Operations. That was my voice. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, that's some of my like earliest work. So, you know, I hear things and I'm just like, man, I, I totally could do that better now. But I think that's something every actor goes through, right? All right. John, come in. There's not much to pick from. Oh my gosh, my. The only available mission is to inspect some unknown ship near the Cassiopeia constellation. Oh well, huh. guess it's a slow day. Head to the docks when you're done. I'm docked at gate 24. Roger that. I'll be on my way. Let me turn subtitles on. Wait, where are the subtitles? Yes. So cool that it used to be just like a regular door before. Yep. Sometimes you just have to leave it as it is. I'm so tempted to like spray. It's not working. So it doesn't say so yet, but you can hold shift to run. By the way, there's a link to the official Discord channel for hey, Star Trek. Hey, John, what do you think we'll find on board that ship? Uh, I have no clue. Your guess is as good as mine. I mean, we literally know nothing about it. All I can gather from the reports is that it has to be old. I mean, no recent ships have been reported missing from this region. You know, maybe it's a pioneering vessel. It got lost or broke down. That would be amazing would, but it's a long shot. There are still numerous ships out there that haven't been recovered. Ships that we even oh, we don't know about. Title sequence. Hey, welcome back. Oh, is there nothing here? Or is this a door? I go out this way. My name. Wait, what? It's open?
Yeah, this is me playing the game that uh, my voice is in. So I haven't actually played it all the way through yet. And the newest chapter came out, chapter 3. And I'm super excited because the, so the voices that I... Uh, bleh, the scenes that I voiced... I'm, I'm, I'm just excited. I am the main character, yeah. <laughs> yeah, space... Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's the guy. Yawar Visser. I call him Jor, so I'm gonna call him Jor for the rest of this. There's me! I'm gonna turn the light on. It's really dark. That's my friend Jordan. And Rob is the other voice actor that I've never met. He plays John. that I call him Jor. Orphanage is one of my friends. <laughs> and this guy, Philip Wagner. <laughs> really? I didn't know that. <laughs> Isn't Charlie Day's character also Charlie? <laughs> what is this? I've definitely never heard this part. Ooh. I look like it hit the, the ship. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we're currently crossing the Cassia Pier Constellation and we'll be reaching our destination shortly. I hope you've enjoyed your flight with us today. If you look out to your left, you'll see space. If you look out to the right of the plane, you'll also see space. Uh, Very funny, John. I know, I know, I crack you up. But yeah, we're getting close. You can stroll around for a bit before we reach there. I'll contact you when we do. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Where's that music coming from? Is it my bed? Aww, look at these pictures. There's a little kid. Is that my child? Okay. Inbox. Case number 8776-34. Unknown ship. Oh, this is my mission. It's the one that I'm on the Cassiopeia constellation. Fun fact, I pronounce that Cassiopeia first time. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Hi, Aaron. Seems that the door panel inside your room isn't working. Probably a loose wire, blah blah blah. Alright, so I'm just gonna have to use my computer to open the door, I think. Alright. Alright, time to get dog tags with this ID number. <laughs> use the dog tags I got from Miss Saigon. This is me dancing! Look at- you can see your feet, by the way. I love that about this game. What's over here? Data safe station? Oh, that's for John. Ugh. Oh, that's John's room, huh? Wait, where's Kuro? <laughs> I know. It's because I'm in space. Alright. I don't 
don't know where I'm going to. There? I'm here. What's up? One of the power conductors just shut down. Again? Yeah, again. You'll have to fix this one manually, so I need you to take the elevator down to deck two and suit up. You will have to use your object scanner for this one. Is it bad? Don't worry, it's no biggie. But if we don't attend to it now, things will get hot and steamy in here if you catch my drift. In your dreams, Mr. Smarty Pants. Ooh, snap. But I'm not kidding. If we don't fix it, it will both get burned. Literally. <laughs> oh man, you got jokes. You better grab your data pad, Aaron, so I can manage your objectives <laughs> for you. Good idea. Alright, how do yeah. I open it up again? How did I leave that thing? I already got it. I think I saw it on the table in the galley. Bro, Aaron, you're hey. dumb. I already picked it up. I'll take a look. Got my data pad with me. Heading down to the pressure suit locker now. Roger. By the pressure way, you can now press Q to check your objectives. Oh man, it's my ultimate. Uh, yeah. I know that. Uh, good. I'll open the elevator door for you and update you once you're there. Copy that. Head to the elevator and head for the pressure suit locker. Ah, uh, this is- oh, damn it. Uh, press Q again? Okay. Uh, okay, I press Q. Now what? Alright, so I need to go to the elevator first. Hello? <laughs> Yay. John. I'm on deck two. Heading to the pressure suit locker now. Copy that. I remember seeing a dancing robot in here one time during the early stages. I'm at the locker. That was so weird. I heard my own voice in my head. <gasps> Aaron, I need you to run a system check and make sure the object scanner is calibrated properly. You can toggle the object scanner on and off by pressing the R key. Unless you customize your key bindings again. Great, it's working. The object scanner detects objects that are interfacing with the ship. Don? Now if you look to the door panel next to the locker, it should light up. Note that if you try to run while the scanner is activated, it will turn itself off. John? If you press F, however, you can toggle your regular flashlight on and off. John? You can also zoom in and out by holding down the Z key. This can be useful if you need to identify objects at a distance. John? Why are you telling me things I already know? Ah. Uh. Anyway, could you open the elevator door for me, please? Roger that. This one? Yeah! This is the one! I've kind of gotten used to hearing my own voice because I have to do a lot of editing. But it's just kind of jarring because I was like, wait a minute, I'm not talking. Why am I hearing my voice? Oh man, I really hate it down here. It definitely it used to like, make me, me cringe. You'll be fine. 
Just and head still towards the cargo bay. Stuff that I'm not satisfied with. Ugh. It's the worst. I want to eat whatever's on this thing. Do do do. I supposed to do? Press Q to ult. Head to the cargo bay. What's my log? Doo -doo -doo. Okay. The cargo bay. <coughs> are John, you, are come you in. Front of the face that I just I'm made? here. Okay. This should be a piece of cake. If you look around the room, you should be able to spot four conductor panels that are lined up in a row. One of them is not receiving any power. This one. This is where you'll need to use your object scanner. Press R to activate it, and you should be able to detect which panel's not receiving any power. Okay, I think I see it. Excellent. Okay, now listen up. There's a console located in the center of the four panels. You need to reroute the correct conductor panel to it in order to be able to restart the system and remove any built-up heat. You need to press the button below the correct conductor panel. I'll go ahead and unlock the console for you now. Okay, let me see here. Sense. But it shouldn't be anything to worry about. Exactly Just uh, head over to the engine there. Room. You can reset the entire ventilation John, system. John, this is not a little bit of steam buildup. No, oh, sorry, sorry. Keep calm. Turn on your object scanner and press T to switch to your vision scanner. Oh, oh. oh. Now, okay. you should be able to make your way to the other end of the deck. You can reset the entire ventilation system from there and drain all the excess steam. Thank you. On my way. Wait, what? Not to eat the what? What are you talking about? Oh god. Press T, right? Oh, this is so cool. No, I was saying, if you listen to your voice every day, you get used to it. Like, the hardest thing was being able to talk in the mic without, um... Anybody else around? I don't know why that's so awkward. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go to the airlock, right? Head over to the engine room. Okay, where's the engine room? Oh, crap, did I go to the wrong place? Let's go here first, see what happens. That's a lock? <laughs> Crap. going to eat the lock. Ah, I think I'm in the wrong floor. Engine room's over here, right? Yes. Okay. Now. Ha ha! Okay. 
Done and done. I'm at the engine room, John. Sweet. The place is great. There's another right, console right, panel so all the way to the back for a while longer. <laughs> you pervert. Do you know me? Anyway, please head up to the bridge now and meet me back in the cockpit. We're pretty much there. Roger that. I'm heading up to the bridge. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, maybe on the next one I'll be in voice chat so I can actually, like, have a conversation without talking to myself. Ah, thank you. And you're a mod, so you can do it. Hey. What cockpit? Pronounced le cockpit? As Widowmaker would say. Oh, oh, oh shit. I'm going the right way, right? What's up, Prime? Alright. So here's John. I can't really <sighs> Just in time, Aaron. See the back of his How close are we? About two minutes away. Since you're here, I'm engaging all safety protocols. All doors to the cockpit are locked. And setting final approach vector. <laughs> you can monitor the final approach at your station, Aaron. I've set up a live feed. Thanks. Here's my live feed. Power out three, what is that? That sounds kind of scary. Hey, John. Do you remember our first job? You were so off from its coordinates. Ah, oh, we spent hours looking for it. And you forgot to calibrate the main vector antenna. Good times. Indeed. That was fun. So another bit of trivia. I think well, this part I recorded while I was like hmm. sick and couldn't breathe it's out of my that nose. Large. So I kept having to blow I've my nose. I've been able to connect and, like, directly to the black drink box water, and I'm running further scale like every two ship. seconds. I couldn't get a line out. Without like having my the nose plugged up again. SD01. That's a pretty it unconventional is me. designation for a ship. Uh, it usually means it's privately owned. Anything else? <laughs> well, let me take a look. Oh man, this is really something. I'm running a database check, but I'm not finding any references. On top of that, I've never seen a model like this before. Oh, and here you are, always boasting about how you aced ship design history in uni and how you can identify each and every ship out there. Ugh. Every single known that ship out there, that is. Hated the way I said but that yeah, one. that's what's blowing my mind right now. This definitely must be a privately owned ship. I can get no references to who it belonged to or how old it is. I don't know, I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna risk well, it. Well, I wonder who the owner is and what it's doing all the way out here. Why has no one reported? I mean, I'm dying right now. Ugh. I don't know. <laughs> The only conclusion I can come up with is that they didn't want it to be found? What would make a company go so far to sacrifice a whole crew like this? <sighs> I wish I knew, man. Whatever it is, it must be one hell of a reason. Do you still want to go ahead? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. She looks old. Maybe, maybe. It does. Judging from the way it's built, it could be around 50 years or more old. Oh, it looks like a whale. It's so cute. I'm not detecting any life signs on board. Uh, no movement either. Ship's integrity seems fine, though. Uh, and it looks like life support is still operational. You got sick, too? Hold on. I can interface with the ship's system, but most of it's offline. Yeah, we must have caught like whatever it's running on backup ahead. power. You'll have to see for yourself if you're able to restore power to, well, anything you can. I just want to know what happened to its crew and what it's doing all the way out here. Judging from the ship's design, is it um, just a dropship? It's about not two big and a half for years a prolonged now? stay in deep space like this. This is actually the first job that I that started means, voice acting on. That means there's another ship out there somewhere. And uh, before Could that, be? I was doing a yeah, lot of don't film. Don't get your hopes up. Just focus on the job at hand, all right, pretty lady? Uh, what I learned is that you had to be an actor to be a voice actor. Docking so, procedure engaged. You know. <laughs> Hold on. Got some training in that area. What's up, Time Seven? By the way, thanks for joining. That must have been terrible when you had to sing. Alright, here we 
go. I think this is the ship we think it is, huh? Man, look at all these details, for real. Alright, Aaron. Docking procedure complete. Understood, John. I'm heading down to the airlock. Copy that. Disengaging safety protocols. You're good to daunting. go. Roger that. Let's see what other story she has to tell. Yay, I'm glad you like it. Have you played chapter three yet? Oh, here's my little killer whale. Killer whale. Yeah, yeah, killer whale. Can't even say the word. Killer whale ship. Can I save? <laughs> yeah, Jor did a good job uh, writing us, I think. And it's funny because uh, Rob, who plays John, is, uh, say, 2,000 miles away? I forget what state he lives in, but uh, we've been just recording our own thing, and then I have a friend who also lives near me who does uh, another character. But, you know, we don't... I've never met him in real life, and we don't record together. So I'm very pleased that, like, our interactions sound natural because, um... I guess we just imagine each other. We have the chemistry, um, chemistry of voice actors. We, that, uh, we can just imagine how each other's gonna say the line. Crap! Where was I supposed to go? I got distracted. <coughs> oh, the the music. Yeah. Use one of your save stations. Log your progress. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm going to the airlock. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh man, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but chapter three, man. I'm so excited. Airlock, here we go. I'm at the airlock. Copy that. The console on your right should be operational now. You can depressurize the airlock. Right. Yes. I'm opening the first door. Copy that. Hey, what's up, Grim? Love you too. See you later. Here we go. All right. Here goes nothing. Okay, Aaron. We're gonna do this by the book. You are currently inside the main airlock Ooh, on deck two. Chapter two already. Are four decks in total, including the bridge. And that's where the flight data can be accessed. Which should tell us where the ship came from and, well, more importantly, the name of the ship it belongs to. Now, your main priority right now is to restore power back to the ship. You're not going to be able to do much without it. It okay. seems everything on this deck is powered down, including the two elevators. I need to find a way to bring them back online. Now, airlocks in general usually have a backup generator. So I'm not sure if it's the same in this case, considering the ship's unique design. Try and see if you can detect some kind of control panel. I'll take a look around. Control panel. Aha! Oh no, I did, but I'm gonna. I'm, I'm planning to stream it on Wednesday too. So. John, the elevators are back in service. Awesome. I'll do it. I'll do it for Wednesday. That takes care of that problem. Well, it's your pick where you want to go to first, but you still need to bring the main generator back online. It should restore power to most of the ship's components. I can go either to deck Thank one you. or totally deck three. Totally forgot about hidden rupees. Considering the main generator is down on deck three, I suggest you go there first. Gotcha. But I can go where I want, huh? Hey, Blue! Deck 3. I guess this is the engineering deck? That's right. Okay, objective. Okay. So I'm gonna wanna go to maintenance, I think. That makes the most sense. I don't know where it is. 
is. I found the generator. <gasps> that does it. Hold on, Aaron. There's another one. <laughs> another generator? Correct. It seems the ship runs on a dual-powered singularity system. A what now? <laughs> it basically means the ship uses two generators to handle the power output throughout all the decks. So, there's another generator I need to restore? That's right. I'll go search for it then. Take a look around. Sometimes the power lines in these older ships are exposed. Use your object scanner to locate them. It should light up and show you which way to go. Uh -huh. Good idea. Thanks, John. Oh, thanks, Always Louis. a pleasure. And John, I know. It, you know, sometimes when I was doing the lines, I, I felt like I was talking to you. <laughs> happens when you run. I don't know, does this game have zombies? Do I do anything here? Okay. Nope, nothing. It looks like the type of game that would, huh? Thank you. <laughs> That's one of my favorite segments with them. It's always so much fun. I don't think I've seen the latest one, but I, I saw the one where uh, I did Darth Vader. Cargo bay. I found the second generator. <laughs> Thank you. I think the did latest one we did, we did uh, Rick and Morty. That did it, Aaron. Uh, Archer. You can see the major systems coming back online. You should be able we to did something as like a soap opera, and, and that one was, uh, Aaron, that was hilarious. Don't move. Stay right where you are. What? Stay Wait, right what? where you are. I'm detecting movement. That can't be. There's no one here. Oh shit, what was that? One second. There's your creeper, dude. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Aaron. It, it was a false alarm, just the maintenance droid. It seems like it was connected to the same power grid that got activated as well. It shouldn't pose a threat. My god, Joe. My heart skipped a bunch of beats just now. I should have expected this. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, I wasn't thorough enough. It's alright. Shows you're just human. We all make mistakes. Aww. No, so sweet. I, I can't accept that. I mean, if anything were to happen to you... John, enough. I'm okay. Whoa, Nothing put happened. him in his place, Aaron. We're gonna move on from this, okay? Copy that, Aaron. Let's keep going. That's the spirit. <laughs> I, I totally forgot about these lights. We still have a whole ship to explore. Alright, alright, where's this dude? Oh, God. Suit. Oh man, there's the other the thingy I want to eat, the luck. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> <gasps> I 
We had to lock the control room and shut down our maintenance droid. He set off an alarm a few times for no reason. We also locked the elevator to the cargo bay in case someone gets trapped in there. Once we get back from this, ooh, this mission, we'll have to run some further tests on the android and hopefully be able to determine what caused the malfunction. So apparently there was some kind of malfunction on the ship. Oh god, I hear him! Oh god, what is- Shit, 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 shit! Oh my god. I thought I was gonna die. Okay. The door controls located in the control room on the deck can pa bypass the lockdown. So I think I should have seen that at the beginning. That scared the heck out of me too! I guess I want to go to the air lock again, and then maybe go up to deck one. I haven't played Five Nights at Freddy's yet. I think I'll play that next. Oh my god. Okay, Aaron. Now that both generators are back online, I'm attempting some more scans. Alright, give me some time, let me assess the situation, and I'll come up with a game plan. Alright, in the meantime... I'll contact you ASAP. For now, you can make your way up to deck one. Good, that's what I was gonna do. On my way. Oh, and Aaron, keep an eye out for any data pads lying around. They might contain information we can use. You're acting like this is my first time doing this. Well, yeah, John. excuse me, princess. Dern, he did it just for you. <laughs> I can't believe I got that reference. I, I can believe it. Yeah, I can't believe you got that either. <laughs> Ooh, plant. Start energy. So I try getting into the ship's network, but it seems the mainframe is offline for the most part. I can't really do anything. You need to bring it back online. Do you know where it's located? Sorry, you're on your own. I'm being blocked off left, right, and center. I'm not able to access anything right now. Yeah, we no need worry. a Sombra. I'll find it. Look at this. We got Star Drink, we got Flava, and we got Buddy Lightyear. <laughs> What's your flavor? It. <laughs> Can I get in? <laughs> Gotta say this music, man. I want a freaking soundtrack. Did pad. Life, life can be so many things. It can be good, it can be bad. Life can be tough. Wow, it sounds like a poem. This goes to all you explorers out there. In a time where war and violence is ever so prevalent, it seems that all we do is explore outwards, trying to find, an find answers for many of life's questions. But maybe the most valuable discovery is that is not going to be found, bleh, found out there. Rather, it's something that's within each and every one of us. <clears throat> oh, this is pretty deep. Instead of trying to find answers out there, maybe we're looking in the wrong direction. What's more important? What we are, or where we came from, or who we are, and where we are going? As cliche as it sounds, the latter questions and their answers are infinitely more valuable than the former. Dare to take the time to explore and find out who you are, because if you don't know who you are, then no one will come and- oh, and the no one and- then no one will, and not knowing is where anger come from, comes from. Anger, in turn, leads to frustration. We all took some time to find out who we are. Maybe we'd be less angry, more tolerant of others and their ideals, and we learn to give and take in life. So I dare to explore who you are. I say, dare to explore who you are and find peace within, and you'll be able to share it with those around you. Maybe then we'll find peace wherever we go, and we can finally say that. I know who I am, and I know where I'm going, and we'll find that life is the most precious thing we have if we can share it with others. Oh, it's beautiful. That's from Jor, too! Oh my gosh, do you see this? That's his message to us. Oh, That's so sweet. 100% orange juice? Um, let's do it when you come over. Or maybe after I'm done with this. Emergency broadcast. Oh boy. By Selena Archer. Quarters mess hall. What's over here first? Is that something? Let's touch the temperature. Data pad updated. Oh, uh, what? Why? Oh, what is that? Okay, there's an elevator. 
elevator to the bridge. Remember that? Oh, wow. Okay, is that what the What happened bridge? here? John, are you seeing this? Well, that scared me. Yeah, I'm seeing the creepy flower robot. It seems like it ran out of power while attending the flowers. It's almost sad. Red flags, Aaron. It's so freaking It clearly went beyond its protocols, and that usually isn't a good sign. Please be careful. Don't worry. Whatever happened, it's displaying care rather than threat. And besides, it's powered down. up what? So I guess I'm going to the mess hall first. Ooh, some rooms I can go into here, yeah? Something is completely off with this ship. There are no signs of any distress at all. There's no visible damage. Everything is just neat and tidy. It's almost like the entire crew just vanished. No, I've been going through the, all the data I collected so far, and from what I can tell, there's no fuel left. It's like it went as far as it could, then simply powered down. No distress signal or anything. It just doesn't make sense. I don't like this one bit. Something's off, apparently, according to Jake Litzig. There's something wrong with the maintenance droids? Yeah, those things are creepy. Colin or the captain? Okay. Is there a captain's room anywhere? Shower? That's what this looks like. Another thing that looks delicious. No connection again. <laughs> Those Legos? Those are Ninja Turtles. I didn't know I could pick up pictures. Oh snap. What is that? Pick up plants. Pick up this. Tool? This is a book. I guess the garden ring. I bet you the robots were reading this. If I take this out, will they fall? Ah! Break the power of worry, fear, blah blah blah. Communicate feelings. All right. Let's find out what else we can do. Voice actor for the character that's uh, the first person view. Okay. I think I see anything here. Now what? And maybe I go to deck zero? Thank you. Yeah, the designer is amazing. Okay, locate the mainframe. Where is the mainframe? Oh, I have a map. Shows me what's open. All right, let's try going to an elevator. There was one that took me downstairs. Oh yeah, it's.
It's actually got a new chapter since then. Yeah, I'm streaming the whole thing since it's been updated, and uh, I wanted to see the ending of chapter three. Since I haven't seen it yet, I wanted to share it with everybody. Ooh, yay! Here's more soda. More Buddy Lightyear. That's my favorite one. Okay, mainframe, mainframe. Med Bay? There's a security station. There's a lot of those. Haha, -ha, Deck Zero has the mainframe. Alright, I'm on the right track. John, come in. I'm inside the mainframe. Copy that, Aaron. Boot her up. What's that? Good job, Aaron. I'm inside the network. Yeah, I got a slight issue here. What's that? I'm trapped inside the mainframe. The door's closed when the servers came back online, and it's also locked up the door panel. I can't get out. Yeah, that's a problem. Mm, hold on. I should be able to open the doors from here. <laughs> ah, freaking sure. It's elevator music for me to wait. <coughs> Okay, I've got some good news and some bad news. Why doesn't that surprise me? The good news is that I'm able to navigate the ship's network. The bad news is that the mainframe is directly linked to the security system. It looks like when I override the door controls, a lockdown protocol will be initiated to isolate any intruders inside the mainframe, and there's no way I can get around it. I can open the doors, but you'll have to manually disengage okay, the alarm system. Wow. Okay. That's, um, inconvenient? Well, it's a non-lethal security system. So all I gotta do is head for the security station and shut it off? Yes, but after that the security system will remain active. What does that mean? So let's say you're in the line of sight of a security camera. When that happens, you'll have three seconds before it triggers the alarm. So I have to move out of their sight? Correct, or else we'll trigger the alarm, lock down the entire deck, and you'll have to head back to the security station and reset the alarm. Okay. Sounds easy enough. It really is. Alright, I'm going to open the doors in three, two, one. Run! Here we go! Run! Oh god, there's a camera there. No, 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 no! Security station, security station, all right. Okay. Man, I do not like security systems. They are way too noisy. I know. Uh, I know. Hey, Eric, I have Let's a new objective for you. Lay it on me. You need to shut down the security system manually. It's the only way to open up all the gates and give you access to the entire ship. There's a control room on deck one, which should let you shut it down from there. But first you need to figure out how to get to it. There's a gate blocking the way near Flower Robot. Flower Robot? Really? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say Creepy Flower Robot. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's an elevator you can use to get there, though. You can access it through the cargo bay. Okay, sounds good. Any ideas how to get to the cargo bay? Well, you gotta head back to Deck 3 and find a way to unlock the elevator there. Okay. We'll sort the rest out when you reach it. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so I'm going to deck three. Oh, really? Sweet, I was hoping for a dark mode. I want that for the desktop. 
that and Facebook. Hey, Aaron, before I forget, now that the mainframe is back online, you should be able to access the computer terminals on board. You can read emails, listen to audio logs, who knows what you'll find. Good idea. Thanks. And if you find anything by a Martian prince, do not believe it. <laughs> Roger that. Gotta shake really hard? What? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Hmm. We're supposed to be able to access terminals, right? Where, where are terminals? Clogging the exhaust. Um, you missed it. I don't know if you saw the creepy robot, but I also uh, ran into these things, the security cameras. They turn red, and I have to reset the security if uh, if I get caught in them. Where is that elevator again? It's back there, isn't it? To deck two. Maybe I can tell him that. So, if Jor, if you're watching, we want to get some drinks from this machine right here. Alright, deck two. I'm trying to find a way to get to the deck three. Oh, I, I think I just passed it right now. Okay. Alright, here's deck three. What's up? I just found out the androids on the ship are also linked to the security system. There's oh, one down shit. there with you, remember? What? Ah, fiddlesticks. <laughs> fiddlesticks. <laughs> You're right. I almost forgot that. It will trigger the alarm immediately if it sees you. And if you make enough noise, it'll be attracted to that. Just use your object scanner to avoid it. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, great. As right. if I didn't have enough reasons to be creeped out by this thing. I know. Don't worry, I checked their security protocols, and they're also harmless. It won't attack you or anything. Right, it's Somehow good that doesn't make it any less creepy. Anywho, just Please locate the me. override control panel. That's the only way you're going to be able to open the door. Uh, I don't like that. Gotcha. Ah! Okay, okay. What I have to do? What I have to do? Shit! Forgot how to turn it off. No, that's the wrong one. Crap! No, go back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hello? Okay, phew. Thought it froze. This. Fuck! Emergency induction port, okay? That's how you do it. Ah, here we go. Yes, reset. Reset. Uh, God, I hate that thing. Why is it that, like, it's non lethal and it's still scary as shit?
Where are you? Oh, the, the noise that it's making? Blech. Crap, I forgot where to go. Where is it? The elevator doors are open. Great. They should lead to the cargo bay. Copy that. Alright, I'm going to that elevator so I'm away from this thing and then uh, we'll continue the rest on Wednesday. Okay, okay. We're going up. I'm getting out of here. Bye, thank you. Okay, Aaron. Just head all the way to the other side of the cargo bay, and you should spot the elevator leading to deck one. All right. All right. Actually, let me find a save point. So I think it doesn't save right here. There's no more of these things, right? Uh, seems like this gate is blocking the path. Seems you'll have to find the control panel to open it. You sly dog, you. Alright. Safe station here. Alright, everybody, thank you so much for joining. I will continue the rest at 7.30 PST on Wednesday. Hopefully I'll make it to chapter 3. And then uh, I'm also going to be streaming it on Friday. So we'll see how far we get. Alrighty. Really long straw, yes. <laughs> um, it's available right now until the 31st at 17% off. Right now it's 9 95 and it's on Steam. You can also download the demo for free. And I think you play up to the first chapter. So uh, yeah, check that out. The uh, website is on the stream. See you guys later. Good night.